today on Running to Him. The work of God that believers might do is done through their belief in Christ. If you are joining us in going through the Gospel of John, today's reading is John chapter 6, verses 1 through 40, and we'll concentrate on verses 26 through 29. John 6, verses 26 through 29 says, Jesus answered them and said, Truly, truly, I say to you, you seek me, not because you saw signs, but because you ate of the loaves and were filled. Do not work for the food which perishes, but for the food which endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give to you, for on him the Father God has set his seal. Therefore they said to him, What shall we do so that we may work the works of God? Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he has sent. The feeding of the 5,000 is an incredible story for at least two reasons. The story illustrates Jesus' power to provide even the most necessary items, in this case food, and the comparison Christ made between seeking that which is temporal, in other words, things that perish, and that which is eternal. We are not to work for the temporal, but for the eternal. However, we're faced with two competing needs. The first is our need to do things so that we can exist, such as eating and the need for working the things of God. And yet, when you're looking at these seeming and competing needs, we find that they are really in common with one another. Adam was told that he was to subdue the earth, Genesis 1.28. That meant that he was to be an active participant in how the earth was managed. This participation was work, but not toil. Belief in Christ means believing in the one who sent him. That is also work which results in action. So we have been given two tasks, belief resulting in action that we, as Adam was, are to subdue the earth. So doing means that we are to take care of the earth as an active participant. We cannot take care of the earth and just be a user. We can only take care of the earth through being careful not to waste and abuse the earth. Secondly, we are to work on our own belief in God, resulting in action. Now let me illustrate what I mean. My wife, Tony and I met in Bad Nauheim, Germany. I could uh, have just looked at her and dreamt in my mind about her beauty. Instead, I took action and went over to her to find out some more things about her. Almost 50 years later, I'm still learning things. Now some acquaint that to my being a slow learner. I see it as she is so alluring that I need to find out more day after day. Our relationship with God, our work, is to find out more about him on a second-by-second basis. We are then to take that knowledge and translate it into action so that we can become more like him and bring others into a relationship with him. We believe, and then we act. Our work, then, is to learn, apply what we learn to our lives, give others that in tangible ways to help them learn more about a relationship with God, and then learn some more about God and repeat the process. We are failing in our work if we are depending on others, such as the government, to exclusively tend for the needs of the governed. It is our work to provide for their needs. As a matter of fact, I would say that we as Christians are to be the primary caregivers, not the government. We have the answers to our relationship with Christ. The government does not. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.